Hello everyone, happy Tuesday. Say tease please. Today we will finish our, well we won't finish, we will continue our conversation about the amazing benefits of green tea. Hello, my name is Jenny Taylor Robinson. I am a health coach and founder and steward of Taylor's Holistic Approach Ministries, a ministry focused on gut health and the Word of God. We are doing a series and this series is entitled Our Daily Dose. And the reason for this title is because we have so much information out there coming toward us. And so we here at Taylor's Holistic Approach Ministries want to give it to you in small doses on a daily basis. Something that you can grasp, something that you can take hold to and make a practice of your own. So on Mondays, which was yesterday, we focus on movement and how important it is to move and we talked about the different ways that you can get exercise on a daily basis uh, unconventional ways that you never think of as such as housework um, there are different things we do as far as cleaning and maintaining our house it actually gets our heart rate up and it's a form of exercise and today is say tease please tuesday and today we will continue like i said the talk on green tea uh, what we will do is we will go review what we did last Tuesday and then we will introduce some more benefits on today. Tomorrow being Wednesday is Watering Wednesday and we want to um, highlight the benefits of hydration and water and then give you a word of God which I will post a sermon. I'm excited about this sermon. I, I found it this morning, so you will hear it on tomorrow. And uh, it's uh, saturating your soul with the Word of God and giving you encouragement for the new year. And then on Thursday, we will talk about a spice. No, not a spice, an herb. An herb on Thursday. It's uh, What's the Herb Thursday? And we will introduce an herb and tell you its benefits on Fridays. You know, on Friday is Frank Friday and we, the discussion is open. I'm really um, leaning toward discussing starting this Friday about brain health. We have so many people that, you know, have either they have or they experience some kind of um, brain disorder, whether it's dementia, Alzheimer's, um, just you know other things that affect your brain so brain health is so important and your brain and your guts all connected so on tomorrow hi melman hi normie uh we're i mean on friday we're really going to start talking about brain health on friday and then saturday we will introduce a spice and its benefits on sunday sundays are not at 10 30 in the morning um, I don't want to interfere with anyone's worship, and I probably feel like I would be here by myself. Uh, but on Sunday afternoon, 3.30 Pacific time, uh, it would be uh, 5.30 Central time. And on the East Coast, it will be, um, what what is that, 6.30. So, um, and so we would talk about I'll give you an opportunity to share your worship experience with each other and encourage each other and then we will talk about the benefits of rest. So again, welcome. Today is Say Tease Please Tuesday. So uh, we will uh, start with our review of last Tuesday and the benefits that we highlighted for green tea. So um, green tea is good for the heart. It aids in preventing heart disease and strokes. Studies have shown that green tea speeds up the recovery of damaged cells when a person has um, some has a stroke or um, has something happening with the um, with the brain with a brain um, excuse me heart disease. So heart disease or stroke, um, green tea is good for that. Okay, we talked about it being good for cancer um, because of the um, antioxidants in the green tea. It helps reduce the risk of cancer. Uh, it's also rich in vitamin, it's, it's rich in vitamin C and E, um, but it's um, 
My sister says she can't get me. Um, keep trying, Phyllis. Uh, they said it's more effective than vitamin C and vitamin E. Okay, so uh, in, in the prevention of cancer. It has polyphenols also, and all of this is helps reduce the risk um, of, of getting cancer. It reduces the risk. And it, um, and so then we talked about, um, I think that was it last week. We talked about weight loss. Did I mention weight loss? So um, we talked about it uh, helping with weight loss. And so anything you do um, as far as your health and weight loss and everything, uh, it's, you have to do, you have to really be committed to really uh, sticking with it. And so you can't like drink green tea for its benefits, but then your diet is uh, incorrect or you don't really get out and, and exercise or move. You know, it's, hi Cousin Del, uh, you have to do it, you have to do it all. Your body needs it all. So just drinking green tea won't won't do won't give you the benefits you have to also eat a sensible diet get activity not you know not stress yourself all these things that will you know will fight against you um, in your health journey so we're just giving you things that you can do along the way just to add in with the things that you're trying to do okay so just make this you know this commitment I know people say, you know, every year in January, uh, hi Phil, uh, they uh, make this, you know, I'm going to eat better, I'm going to exercise more, and they make these commitments, and then, you know, maybe, you know, a week or maybe a month, some maybe, you know, are successful for, you know, a few months, and then they kind of like gradually slide back. But we're here to encourage you to keep steady, to stay on the road because the benefits will really outweigh um, any discomfort or um, that you may be getting along the way, okay? Because if you're like, say for instance, you're addicted to sugar, you will have withdrawals. Um, but just, you know, look at, I think about like the uh, press toward the mark. You know, you know your goal. Um, People say, oh, I've always eaten this way. Well, that's not really working for you right now because you have all of these issues. So we need to change things up. And so we're here to give you uh, small doses of good things for your health. Okay, so now I got off of that soapbox. We will continue today with our benefits of green tea. So green tea says to improve brain health. Okay, so um, it says that green tea contains caffeine, which is considered um, a central ingredient for enhancing brain health. Wow, I didn't know that. Caffeine. But the right kind of caffeine in the right doses. Okay, so this is healthy caffeine, and it says that it's good. In, um, caffeine reduces the effect of um something that helps to enhance the brain. So things that uh, fight against brain health. If you drink green tea and do, you know, eat a sensible diet, then um, it will help you with your brain health. So it asks, like, how do you consume it? Because uh, I think Phyllis asked last week, like, you know, hi, Iva. Um, Phyllis asked last week, well, how much? So reading all of these things, it says, like, um, at least two cups a day. Okay, so for uh, for this this brain health, it says sip a cup of green tea in the morning, and uh, and so and then if you do this on a regular basis, uh, in two to three months, you'll gradually see uh, the difference. You'll reap some of the benefits of drinking green tea um, every morning. Okay. Uh, Next, it boosts immunity. 
So we, this is the whole thing we're talking about is making sure that we keep our immune system strong because of all the things that are out there these days. And we want to make sure that our body is in condition to fight as it's supposed to. That's the way God created us. Um, that's why we have um, our bodies, you know, we cut ourselves, it heals. You know, God made us, he gave us plants, vegetation. Uh, and originally, if you read the word, it says you will have the, the plants or the vegetation as meat instead of the other meat. So um, just get, if you the type of person where it's like, you know what, you're doing too much. I can't do without meat. Fine. You know, I talked about it before, either quality meat or less meat and more vegetables and, you know, and have fruit for dessert okay so uh, green tea is rich and a lot of things that help to boost your immune system and so it's beneficial against fighting free radicals uh, those are things that that in that in your system from the air ingestion or things that you eat toxins or whatever um, and so it helps to fight those things um, there are, Phyllis is asking about caffeine in coffee. They, yes, there has been some studies that says that caffeine in coffee uh, does have health benefits. Um, so, yes, we were talking about tea. <laughs> but yes, I, I have read that there has been some studies that uh, the caffeine in coffee is beneficial. So we will introduce that at a later date. Okay, uh, then we have prevents tooth decay. Now, I hadn't heard this one. So it says that um, there's uh, many recent types of researches have indicated that the benefits of drinking green tea uh, can enhance your oral health. It's um, observed that many people who drink green tea have better and stronger oral health than others. Now I hadn't heard this and I also read in one of the other things that um, green tea is also uh, good for bad breath. So um, this will go along with, I guess, with oral health. So um, yeah, okay, you can drink, it says drink a cup of green tea uh, in the evening or after your last meal to get all the required benefits uh, for your oral health. Next, it treats arthritis. And because of, again, antioxidants and it being anti-inflammatory properties contained in the green tea, um, you will get a lot of health benefits. A lot of our illnesses and conditions are because of inflammation, okay? And so uh, we need something that's going to fight inflammation and green tea will do just that. Uh, these properties um, in green tea help slow, slows down the production of certain molecules in the body, which otherwise cause arthritis in the body. So that's a good thing to know is sit down and have uh, on a regular basis, um, have a cup of green tea uh, for what ails you, okay? Um, it says apart from antioxidant, green tea also delivers vitamin E and C, which um, we've mentioned before, for uh, benefits uh, for bone health. So not only is it good for arthritis uh, in your joints, it's good for your bone health also. So that's, um, that's eight benefits of green tea. And I think we have about 10 more that I've seen, but what I wanted to do is I didn't want to give everything to you, uh, you know, at the same time, because that defeats the purpose of daily doses and giving you uh, information bit by bit. So you can kind of like think about it, absorb it, you got a week uh, to act on it. And so uh, Norma says, uh, I notice my knees don't ache as much as before since I started drinking more green tea and less coffee. Okay, see, there's, there is a testimony right there. Yes, uh, and go, goes along with the other studies that they've had with other people who had success 
about um, drinking green tea and um, getting rid of the inflammation in your body. And that's another thing I want to just park on just for a second is inflammation. If all of a sudden you have a flare-up of something, you know, we talked about inflammation and how inflammation is a good thing because that's the way our body protects us. But when it's prolonged, then it weakens the system and then it becomes conditions and illnesses. So uh, eat more anti-inflammatory foods, drink more anti-inflammatory drinks, So that, and then eat less of processed foods, eat less of junk foods. Um, and so just to get your balance uh, that you need for your body. Your immune system is calling for it. It's fighting daily. And so we need to help it out by doing things. Simply drinking green tea um, twice a day. You know, maybe in the morning and in the evening or midday. You pick the time. But just doing this and studies have shown within two to three months, people uh, experience some kind of benefit from drinking green tea on a regular basis. So Iva says she drinks green tea once daily, but did not know to drink it twice daily. And in the evening, I will enjoy that. Very good. Okay, so with green tea, like I said, we said before, um, there's different types and I brought out different types. I prefer uh, to purchase um, organic. And so, uh, but this tea today I have, I showed it last week and it's a, it's a blend, it's a, and I know it's probably backwards, but it's black and green tea. So it's a combination of black, green, and green tea. Um, black and green tea. So what you really wanna do Okay, so this particular one, it doesn't come with um, the string and the tag on it. It's just actually like a little pouch. Okay, and so you put it, and with green tea, you want to make sure that you don't get it, leave it in there a long time because it will get bitter. And if you're not used to it, uh, you won't drink it. So, you know, let it sit there steep for, you know, I guess, maybe initially like to the color changes and then once the color changes you get that rich uh, flavor and if it was just strictly green tea it would be um, more on the green side but since it has the black tea mixed in you get this dark thing you just take that over and then you have your tea you can put um honey just you know a tad just to you know if you're not used to drinking tea straight. I drink all of my teas without anything just because that's what I'm used to doing. I, I used to do honey years ago, but I just gradually got away from it because of the sweetness. And you know, that's another thing that inflames arthritis, flares up arthritis is sugar. Uh, so yeah, so that is it for today's Say Teas Please. Does anyone have any questions or any comments? Thank you for interacting. Thank you for joining me and supporting me. Thank you for doing something good for yourself and the people around you. So remember one uh, tomorrow is Watering Wednesday. We will talk about hydration and uh, we would talk and then we will hear a word from the Lord. Uh, I will post a sermon that I am excited about. Uh, Norma says she's, she ag adds garlic, ginger, and honey, and lemon, or now basil, in her tea. Okay, so she jazzes her green tea up. She just doesn't drink it straight. And with adding garlic, ginger, honey, lemon, and all those things in there, she also adds in their benefits also. And then you get it in the drink. Uh, there, are, there are green tea supplements. But I just, I would just enjoy just the green tea, the just drinking it straight like this because it gets into your system and then you have that nice warmness and you, you know, you have all those benefits readily available to you rather than having it in a capsule or a pill and it dissolving and going through the digestive process. So that's just my recommendation. Uh, and then Norma says she's winging herself off of honey. Okay, 
Excellent, excellent, excellent. Yeah, honey is just kind of like this, this tie over. You know, if you're trying to break yourself from doing, you know, sugar, granulated sugar, then honey is a nice, um, in between thing where you can do that and then gradually less and less and then you can drink it straight Okay, anything else? Okay, well, thanks again for joining me. This has been Jenny Taylor Robinson our daily dose saying say teas, please and we will Lord's willing see you tomorrow as we uh, experience a water, watering Wednesday. Uh, okay, let's turn back. I use fresh garlic and ginger. Okay, so Norma just wants everybody to know that um, it's not like a grated or anything uh, like that uh, dehydrated. She uses fresh garlic and ginger. So do you just like chop your garlic up and put it in there? Do you press the garlic? Um, and your ginger, or you, do you grate it? How do you add it to your tea, just in case someone wants to know? Yes. <laughs> yes, you, you, you grate it. You chop it up. You just chop it up and put it in there. Okay, cool, cool. All right, thank you so very much for for that uh, normie and thank you all for joining me and remember come back tomorrow um, you'll be blessed by the word of God I promise you all right have a blessed rest of the day